What's up guys, Dolph Cop here, and I'm here to uh, show you again, and hopefully for the last time, and hopefully this will fix a lot of people's problems, how to get your FPS Dominator, the Strike Pack, the DualShock version, to work on your PC using the SCP Toolkit. Um, so let's get started guys. Basically the first step, and here's what I've done for y'all, I've uninstalled everything. I don't have SPF, SPC Toolkit on my computer anymore. I uninstalled the drivers. My controller is not working. It's plugged in, not working. Um, the first thing you want to do is update the firmware of the toolkit. I'm going to have a link to this Collective Minds download page in the video description. You're going to want to go to the Windows, download the Windows updater here. You'll get the CM updater tool. And this is important, guys. It'll help get rid of lag and some of those issues that everyone was having. Where did my updater tool go? Oh, there it is. So no device is found. The key to this is it has to be plugged in without the controller. So just unplug your strike pack off of the uh, controller and there it is. There's my Collective Mind strike pack for PS4. I already have firmware 2.02. I'm going to update it anywhere though. anyway though, just to show you guys how quick it is. Continue. Begin update. It's flashing the firmware. Boom. Get the, get the check. You're good to go. You can exit out of this. Go ahead and plug this back onto your DualShock controller. I got a yellow light flash as soon as I plugged it in, but nothing else. It's turned off and it's not operational as you can see by the controller GUI that would pick it up. It says disconnected. The next step is to go to the next link in the uh, description and it'll be the source forge link to the SCP toolkit. You're going to want to download it. I'm doing this again for y'all, just showing y'all every single step. That's my, <laughs> my fourth download of it. You can go ahead and run it. This was a pretty like streamlined version. I agree. Install it wherever you want. Just let it do its thing. I don't touch any of the features. I, don't, I know I only need a little bit of it, but I'm not sure what I do and don't need. That was me giving it permission. It shouldn't take too long for this to install. I think I've, I've already got all the icons right there. There you go. All done. They get a cool little noise. I don't know if you, you guys hear that. So now you want to run the driver installer. Yes. Install Bluetooth driver. Install. DualShock 3 driver, you want those clicked off. You only want to install DualShock 4 driver. You want to force the driver installation. And then when you choose your DualShock 4 controller, you want to make sure that you're picking the right uh, item. And for me, it's a wireless controller. It's not the strike pack which comes up. And the strike pack comes up after you do that firmware update. It'll like remember that you had a strike pack plugged in. See, I don't have the correct option here. None of these are a wireless controller, which is what it should come up as. So I'm gonna, oh geez, strike pack's actually not even firmly plugged into my controller. So I'm just gonna unplug and replug in my wireless controller. I'm not sure what just happened. I'm gonna exit from the installer. And just open it up again. Make sure you click the right settings. And you want to, it's not controller for Xbox either. That may pop up because like Steam is recognizing the controller. You want to do wireless controller. Install the wireless controller driver. Yeah, I think I had Steam pop up and it was and it was like half recognizing the controller, but definitely not in the amount that it needs to. Okay, so that was pretty quick. Installation complete, I think. No, oh, no, it says starting driver installation. This may take up to five minutes. If it takes a long time, then my recommendation is give up on it and just restart it because it shouldn't take very long and then sometimes will like crash or something. I'm going to give it a minute. 
I know it says up to five minutes, but it really doesn't take up to five minutes. So I'm going to give up on that and just restart it. It definitely has given me issues like this. Make sure you find that wireless controller. It's not the Xbox 360 controller or the anything else. And that stuff may pop up just because I have Steam on my computer and Steam's all about it. And I have another video that goes more into detail of that, which you definitely should check out. Start the install again. Okay, so that time it worked. Bus driver installed, reboot required. That's what it says down the most two recent things. I got that noise, that's the noise you want. So sometimes that'll happen guys, it'll kind of get stuck. You just need to exit it and restart the install. So now it says reboot required, so I'm gonna go ahead and reboot my computer. All right guys, so I restarted my computer and I'm getting activity straight out of my controller. Now a couple of the troubleshooting techniques that you wanna go make sure of is if you go to your device manager window, there should be a, a an LIB USB K USB devices somewhere, like a lib USB K right there, and under it should be the device you installed, the wireless controller. Also, you want to go to your sound devices menu, which looks like this, and find that USB device, and make sure you disable the playback, so the speakers coming through the controller and the recording coming through the controller. I think I already have my USB microphone disabled. So make sure that the microphone for the USB device and the, uh, the speakers for the USB device are both disabled. That's very important. Because you're trying to trick it into thinking the strike pack isn't there. Now I'm gonna power up Fortnite. But as you can see on the GUI that I'm, I'm getting reactions from my controller, the blue light is on. I think that was one of, the, so a couple of the major keys for troubleshooting, I believe, is that your firmware needs to be updated, your audio settings need to be correct, and that it needs to all be turned off for the USB device. You can't have any of the audio settings on. Um, and then when the SCP toolkit is kind of not immediately finishing the driver install, like quickly just exit out of it or click, click, like exit away, just end the program and just restart it and do it a couple of times and it should be able to get it done. I'm going to give it a second to show y'all that it's working in Fortnite. So there I am, picking with the controller, going to creative. When I hit the paddles on the back, I'm getting X and circle response. I'm not hitting X or circle, as you can see, but I'm getting that paddle response. Selecting and going back. Um, and as you can see, there's, there's no lag, like back and forth real fast, boom, 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 boom. So I don't, I don't have any lag, and I can, I can definitely hop, like, y'all can see on my stream, I don't get any lag. Um, so let me know if this helps you guys, please. Uh, I hope it does. I hope that we can all figure this out together. It sucks that you guys have been having so many problems. Um, I even had some problems this morning after I uninstalled everything and suddenly it was like, oh geez, what's going on now? But those were all the things that I think are most important. Hopefully that'll get you guys up and running. So, good luck everybody. Make sure you like and subscribe.